through the Premier League, down through Division One and Two and Three, and down through the Conference League until there they are! <laughs> But wait, when I went to see them a couple of weeks ago, they were playing in an FA Trophy match against Frickley Athletic. <laughs> now, Frickley is so small, the whole place could be carpeted for £35. <laughs> Frickley Athletic isn't in the league or the conference. It isn't even in the phone book. <laughs> Doncaster were on for a win. I wasn't worried about that. I was, however, very worried about making a fool of myself. I grew up in Doncaster and really didn't want to be seen as a soft southerner bringing his arrogant, get-out-of-my-way attitude to a hard northern town. <laughs> but as I entered the Rovers' ground, I knew I was out of my depth. <laughs> this was my first ever football match, and I really, really didn't know the ropes. Mind your car, mister? Yes, thank you. Thanks very much. <laughs> I didn't even know which door to go through. I was a visiting supporter, rooting for the home team. I needed advice and set off to the pub. <sighs> right, lads. Do we do the fighting now or after the game? <laughs> No, we don't do fighting. We don't do fighting with Doncaster. What? No fighting? You have to have two people. We didn't have enough people last season. <laughs> now, listen, how do I be a Doncaster Rovers supporter? Well, first of all, you've got to have a thick skin. Yeah. Well, a thick skull first, then a thick skin. <laughs> Secondly, you've got to have the responses off pat. Right? The first response is desperately unlucky. The other one is temporary setback. How badly are we doing at the moment? We are... Bottom of the conference. We are not near the top of the conference. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> we are not near the top, but this is a temporary setback in the promotion push. Now we've strung two wins together. We're on a run. But two wins? Of course. <laughs> One win constitutes a run for Doncaster. <laughs> <laughs> we expect today a goal glut. Not from Frickley. No. And th this, this is going to precipitate the surge up the lead. Trust me. Right, now, look, Matthew. Songs the need to know for this afternoon. We ain't Rotherham, and we ain't Rotherham. We ain't Rotherham, and we ain't Rotherham. We are Rotherham, ain't us. Right, I think I've got that. We ain't Rotherham. I decided that was a poor song and that I'd write my own. I've got a new song for this afternoon, right? These are the words. We hate Frickly, we hate Frickly, we hate Frickly, you're so sickly and you smell. <laughs> at all. And it's funny, Doncaster fans don't sing about the brilliance of their club, just how much they hate Rotherham. <laughs> I'll have a lobster beast, please. <laughs> no, all right then, Bovril. It was so damn cold, I didn't know whether to drink it or pour it into my shoes. <laughs> from Rotherham, and he enjoys DIY, and he's a policeman. Oi, ref, go haircut! <laughs> oh, no, Frick have scored! Tutters! <laughs> As the end of the first half drew near, I should have been miserable, but I was too cold for that. Still, in the second half, I'd been invited to the director's box to sip tea from fine bone china and eat cucumber sandwiches with the crusts cut off. 
The director's box was a bit of a letdown, but the game was worse. 90 seconds into the second half and one of our chaps was sent off for no reason. And minor setback followed minor setback until in the 80th minute we had a bloody huge minor setback. <laughs> The boys in red decided to have a fight just to keep warm. And while the new chairman fumed at the hopelessness of his team, I began to hatch a plan, a plan that would turn everything round. This is what I've got in mind, OK? Right, OK. I'm going to make a video, I'm going to use the BBC crew, but they'll never know, right? Which is going to make... Doncaster look fantastic. And then all the big players will want to come here. Fantastic. You'll have Les Ferdinand on the phone, Gascoigne, back, and they'll all be ringing going, I want to play for Doncaster Rovers. I need to live in Doncaster. Well, give him my number, please. <laughs> I will. Just you watch this video. <laughs> Nestling near the Yorkshire Dales, Doncaster is awash with houses fit for a footballer. <laughs> And for sun seekers, the resorts of Filey and Scarborough are on your back doorstep. <laughs> Fancy cooling off, then head for the Pennines, just 30 miles away. <laughs> Doncaster, a magnet for the stars. Now, we wealthy film directors, we don't go for Christmas to Barbados or Gestad or Cape Town. We have a new place we go, and that's just where I'm going. Doncaster. <laughs> Awake at night wondering why we've never filmed changing rooms in Doncaster. Quite simply, it's because there's nothing to change. The place is perfect. Hello, I'm John Ketley. Now, here's a little known fact. Doncaster is the sunniest place on the whole of the earth, and that includes all those African deserts. I visited Doncaster and I got an eye infection, but I still like it. Doncaster, there's so much to see and do. Doncaster. 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 It's not a bag of shards. 